Welcome! Let's take a look at evaluating this indefinite integral. Notice that we have an integrand that resembles a fraction, and we have sine of 2x in our numerator, and cosine of x times the quantity 1 minus sine squared of x in our denominator. In its current form, we have no strategies that will help us find the antiderivative of this integrand. However, we can use some trigonometric identities to help us rewrite the integrand in an equivalent form. And in this equivalent form, we can use our knowledge of basic derivatives to find the antiderivative. So the first identity is that of sine of 2x is equal to 2 times sine of x times cosine of x. That's an extremely useful identity when dealing with sine of 2 times a variable. So what we're going to be able to do is we're going to replace this numerator with 2 times sine of x times cosine of x. Also, let's address the denominator, 1 minus sine squared of x. We'll start by thinking first of the Pythagorean identity, cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x equals 1. Now keep in mind that what we're wanting to replace is 1 minus sine squared of x. So let's then take this equation and subtract sine squared of x from both sides of the equation. And this gives us an equivalent identity. That is that cosine of x is equal to 1 minus sine squared of x. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace 1 minus sine squared of x with cosine squared of x. And we're going to replace sine of 2x with 2 sine of x times cosine of x. So when we do this, we now are, have the indefinite integral of 2 sine of x times cosine of x divided by cosine of x times cosine squared of x dx. Now we might notice that we can divide out a cosine of x from the numerator and the denominator, getting 2 sine of x over cosine squared of x dx. Now you may be wondering at this point how this was helpful. So let's go ahead and instead of thinking of cosine squared of x as something squared, let's think of it as cosine of x times cosine of x. Also, let's go ahead and factor this coefficient of 2 out in front of the integral. So we'll have 2 times sine of x over cosine of x times cosine of x dx. Now in trigonometry you learned about ratios and their relationship to other trigonometric functions. For example, you learned that the tangent of, a, of x is equal to sine of x over cosine of x. And you also learned that secant of x is equal to 1 over cosine of x. So what we can do is we can go ahead and take this integrand and write it as a product. We can write it as the product of sine of x over cosine of x times 1 over cosine of x dx. Now in this form, sine of x over cosine of x is the same as tangent of x, and 1 over cosine of x 
is the same as secant x. So we can rewrite this indefinite integral as 2 times the integral of tangent of x times secant of x dx. Now we've used some trigonometry to help us rewrite this integral, this integrand, in a more friendly form. At this point, we need to take advantage of what we know about derivatives. We know that the derivative of the sec with respect to x of the secant of x is equal to secant of x times tangent of x. And notice that that is what we have as our integrand. So because the derivative of secant of x is secant x tangent x, then the antiderivative or the indefinite integral of 2 times secant x tangent x will be 2 times secant of x plus our constant of integration. I hope you find this helpful.